Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you. Let us see what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, please do click the bell and click the subscribe button. This is for the Sagittarius sign, please. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? We'll look at your situation. We'll look at your focus. We'll pick up your overall energy. And then... We will see what is coming towards you. This is like a daily collective reading. What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? Thank you guys for being here. Guest viewers, welcome to my channel. This is a very exclusive Sagittarius channel. So I hope you join and click the subscribe button. Right after this, I'm going to be doing your love reading, love message. What can I get for the Sagittarius? Oh, you have a high priestess. What is the message for the Sagittarius sign? Okay, the king of swords. Okay, Sag, let's start your reading. Okay. So you're starting the reading with the eight of pentacles in here. Um, I'm picking up Sagittarius that as you move into the... Um, immediate future I mean right now me moving towards um, the immediate future I could feel a sense of like you want to grind you know with the eight of Pentacles in here I feel like there is there is some there is a sector of your career like driven okay and at the back of the eight of Pentacles is the ace of wands so I feel like this is a big wake-up call Sagittarius you're entering you're entering the next 24 hours or the next three four uh six weeks with a logical decision that as free-spirited and spontaneous you are somehow you kind of need to put a structure into your work into your aspiration into your objective like it's giving me a vibe Sagittarius that yep you are very passionate you put your heart and soul and energy to your work but you need to have a proper structure so you could be activating a very mentally focused Sagittarius okay eight of pentacles in here and you've got a queen of swords yes the star card is here the knight of pentacles in here so for some of you, you're very driven, okay? The next 24 hours, you are tapping into mentally focusing on the pending work, pending debt for some of you guys. There's some stuff in here that because the star card and I, the pentacles, you're looking into your finances. You're looking into your work, finances, financial security, and there's a part of you that this is not what I promised myself, okay? Like you could be the next 24 hours, you could be you could be activating a reality check. The Eight of Pentacles, like it's a reality check where you know Ace of Wands. And if you look at the Queen of Swords, it doesn't look like she's happy, okay? It looks like you're activating something of a reality check that this is not what i have promised myself okay so you could be shifting your focus into money into productivity into completing a task into not just money and security but it could be the queen of swords this is not what i promised to myself this is not what i told myself to have i want more so this is a reality check coming from you there's a part of you that you're going to switch to switch yourself into working mode um like beast mode in terms of working in terms of productivity in terms of really working yourself towards what you promise yourself so it could be it could be 
you could be slowly i don't think it's abrupt you know i don't i don't think it's overnight that okay i want money so i'm gonna work 24 hours no i don't think it's like that i think it's a gradual looking into your daily routine daily work routine and really being mentally focused into getting things done because the ace of wands you're very passionate you know you're also you could also be very spontaneous like um the knight of pentacles this is where you put your heart you put your time like this is an acceptance that this is not what i have expected to accumulate i do, i want more queen of swords you're realizing that today you write the things that you do but because you could be spontaneous you're not following it you could be starting from the bottom instead of the top you're gonna change that okay so the next 24 hours moving towards immediate immediate future there's so much focus into stick with the rule stick with my list you know look like a teach it look, you look like a teacher look at that queen of swords like you're having this conversation to yourself where i'm going to stick to my diet to my plan to whatever i promise myself you're looking into your finances you're looking to your goal you're not happy but you're not blaming yourself because a part of why you're probably not on track with diet, financial, productivity, maybe work, maybe personal goal. Although you're not on track, you're not you're not on the target, you know. You could be behind, but you were stalling because you're having fun. So you're not I would say if you did not achieve whatever you want to achieve by this time of the year you were you allocated the money or the energy to shopping rewarding or it could be having fun so there's no you're just catching up on the lost time okay you're smart and you have the ace of wands in here so okay i'm behind my savings i'm behind my target why I, why i was behind because i was having fun i was rewarding myself it all came to me it 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 all came if if you were behind in terms of saving you did spend the money to yourself anyway or if you were behind your daily or work routine or any sort of goal you did spend that time for fun for enjoyment so if things aren't as you know completed as it is it's because you just went for a vacation and no more vacation working time so you you were playful i would say you were playful the last two to three weeks there was a bit of complacency with money playful adventure and that's fine and now you're mentally so focused into looking into your career to your money security productivity and game on you have a game face on you're just catching up with lost time so I don't e I don't want I don't even want to use the lost time because if you did not save the money or if you were not productive you you use the money you use the energy for fun or for shopping so it's not a loss at all it's more of like you're going to shift or you're going to switch on to eight of pentacles work hard so I can play hard later on so it's a very Sagittarius you know so you're gonna switch off the spontaneous the spontaneous vibe and you're gonna be very serious and strict okay queen of swords is you so expect yourself to be serious to be game on to probably allocating money and time to productivity and then once you achieve your goal you can relax and play again so this is what you call life you play hard you work hard Sagittarius right now you're in the playing hard okay queen of swords okay that's really nice okay all right now hmm you have what's coming towards you in the immediate future from now up until the immediate future well this five of swords this is manifesting you okay there's a person who's manifesting you it could be a gemini it could be it could be gemini uh libra aquarius sun moon and venus okay so this five of swords they're manifesting you uh the five of swords this person is manifesting you i think you've given up on them 
I think this person is aware that you've given up on them, you've checked out, they felt that you're not interested or you remove your interest towards them. They can feel that. Magician card, the two of pentacles in here, and the eight of swords. Oopsie. You know what? This could be a lover. This could be a friend. I don't think this is connected to work. Okay. There's a person manifesting you. There's a person who knows you've given up. This person is even thinking like, okay, Sagittarius doesn't want me anymore, doesn't like me anymore, doesn't love me anymore. Okay? Magician card. They're very sad because they made you like this five of swords. You know how they feel is that they're you know they're quite sad and somehow regretful because they had a chance with you five of swords like this person is reminiscing those days or those times that you were together like once upon a time Sagittarius was so in love with me or we were hanging out so good so great so someone is now in regression and I would say like this person is now I would say this person's realizing that they've lost a huge um a, they, they, they they've lost you like it's a it, you're they've they've lost a very worthy you're like um right now this person is thinking you're so worthy you know like um they're now seeing your worth okay like they're realizing like this is this person is like in memory lane you know with the with the seven of cups in here this person's like i wish i could go back to those times that i could just call you i could just hang out with you we will travel together we will talk together we will watch movie so this person is into memory lane it could be a friend it could be a lover but i think they pissed you off yeah because this person is shaking their head you know, like oh shite you know like why did i why did i pissed off a very important person in my life because magician card you were like, like the magician you're like a friend a lover you're everything that they've ever wanted you know you're just one person but you make them feel complete like if this is a friend you just need you just needed one friend and that's you you're equivalent of you know you are equivalent of five people Sagittarius if this is a lover you can be their best friend the lover um, a critic you're everything you were like a you wear a different hat in their life a uh, seven of cups they're going to memory lane okay like this person is going to you know two of pentacles eight of swords when will like this person is somewhere out there reimagining the things that you know happen between the two of you and this person is going to memory lane and they're realizing seven of cups why can i maybe they try to date the other people maybe they're with another person right now maybe they're with other friends or other people but they could not recreate whatever they experienced to you so for example this person likes to eat thai food with you so they try to recreate eating thai food with another person but they couldn't so this person is i would say they break their own heart like they're, they're they're you know five of swords seven of cups this person's realizing that you you you've gone so far away like this person thought that they could just they have this expectation sagittarius that they have this expectation and confident that they could still get you back but looking into the timeline it looks like it might be impossible unless they do a very very big move to shake up the stagnancy to shake up the inactiveness of you and them like it's because the six of swords is here so this person like whoa it's it's been so long like there's a there's a there's something with this person wow it's been so long Sagittarius I don't know how I'm gonna take you back if it's it's been so long 
The other regret is that they should have acted, you know. They should have been in connection or in communication with you. They should have come back to you early on, the Knight of Wands. Because right now, this person, they're quite spiritual. Excuse me, with the High Priestess. This person is spiritual because you're worthy of love and joy. And they honestly feel like right now, this person realized that the love, the joy, the friendship, or the love, the joy, the connection, the friendship, they realize that you really, you, you do belong to each other. It's a person who's going through, you know, sometimes when a person is just there, they don't realize their value, but when you're absent, that is where this person is going crazy. Right now, this person is, especially where May, like May to June, the Six of Swords, number six, this person realizing, whoa, it's been so long. Why did I, why did, why it took me so long to think about this? So they could feel, they could feel the emptiness, like they could feel a huge gap, okay? And they're very worried about that. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, they gave you away, Sagittarius. They gave you reason to move on. They gave you a way to forget them. Like they give you a reason to move on, you know, with the Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Uh, I think as the after effect of the full moon in Scorpio, now Mercury, Mercury is out of retrograde. This person is in a full realization that they've been missing you. They've been missing you. They've been missing you and if you have moved on because they gave you a reason to move on they gave you away the knight of wands someone is going to think whether they're going to act on their feelings because it's a combination whoever this person is it's a combination of fear and it's a combination of sadness so with the king of swords I think this person is smart, but right now I could sense the fear. I could sense the fear in their heart that you were worthy, but they never gave you the worthy energy you deserve. So lots of regrets, lots of reminiscing from the past, and also fear. This person is thinking it's been so long. I've been missing you, Sagittarius. And they're thinking that they gave you a reason to, like, like logically, this person realizing if you move on and if you've forgotten about me, Sagittarius, it's because I gave you that reason to forget about me. King of Cups. I think over the next two to three weeks, this person will obsessively think of you and almost desperate to, to talk to you and to discuss about the past and get more deta details and clarity and directness with the King of Swords. Like they kind of want to know if they will have a chance. Yeah, Six of Cups. Maybe something is going on with this person that they need you right now. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. I think this person realized the value of you. Something is going on in their life. And no matter what they do, it always directs them to your connection. And they have to face the hard truth that they miss you and they need you and they probably love you but they have taken for granted of you um expect them in the next four to four to eight weeks sagittarius almost begging almost begging almost begging um they want to know if they have a chance basically oh you have some unfinished business sagittarius okay um sag this is your reading 
um thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your support i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day